The Netherlands. It's known for its colorful tulips, iconic windmills, and charming canals in Amsterdam. Today we're going off the beaten path to discover hidden gems that reveal the real heart and soul of the Netherlands. We'll explore tranquil villages, historic treasures, and stunning natural beauty. So pack your bags, grab your sense of adventure, and let's get started. Tucked away in the northeastern province of Overijssel, Geethorn is a place that will capture your imagination. Imagine a village where cars are replaced by tranquil canals and picturesque bridges. As you glide along the canals in a whisper-quiet boat, you'll see charming thatched roof farmhouses line the waterways. The gardens are bursting with flowers and the air is filled with birdsong. Be sure to take a stroll along the narrow footpaths that meander through the village. Stop for a coffee or a slice of Dutch apple pie at a canal-side cafe. One of the best ways to experience Githorn is to rent your own little boat. You can putter along at your own pace exploring the hidden corners of this water wonderland. Githorn is a reminder that sometimes the most beautiful destinations are the ones hidden away from the crowds. Our next stop takes us just a short hop from Amsterdam to Zanse Schans, an open-air museum that's like stepping back in time. Here, on the banks of the Zaan River, you'll find a collection of beautifully preserved windmills. These windmills are still working, grinding mustard, sawing wood and pressing oil. You can even step inside some of them to see the inner workings. Zanse Schans is more than just windmills, it's a complete village with charming wooden houses and workshops. Be sure to visit the clog workshop and the cheese farm for some delicious Dutch Gouda. As you wander through the village, you'll get a real sense of what life was like in the Netherlands during its golden age. It's a fascinating glimpse into the past and a reminder of the country's rich history and culture. Now let's hop on a ferry and head out to the Dutch islands. Our destination, Texel, the largest of the West Frisian islands and a true paradise for nature lovers. As you approach Texel by ferry, the first thing you'll notice is the vast expanse of sand dunes that line the coast. These dunes are not just beautiful, they are a vital part of the island's ecosystem, providing a habitat for a variety of plant and animal species. Once you're on the island, be sure to rent a bike, it's the best way to explore the island's many hidden corners. Texel boasts over 140 kilometers of cycling paths, making it a cyclist's dream. Texel is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the Netherlands. Whether you want to swim, sunbathe, or simply take a leisurely stroll along the shore, you'll find the perfect spot on Texel. The beaches are pristine with soft golden sand and clear inviting waters. Head inland, and you'll discover a patchwork of fields, forests, and charming villages. Each village has its own unique character and charm, offering a glimpse into the island's rich history and culture. Be sure to visit the village of Denburg and the Ikomare, a fascinating museum and seal sanctuary. Ikomari is not just a museum, it's also a rescue center for seals and other marine animals, making it a must visit for animal lovers. For a truly special experience, visit Texel during lambing season roughly March to May. During this time, the island is dotted with adorable lambs and you can even visit some of the local farms to see them up close. Texel is a place to relax, recharge and reconnect with nature. Whether you're exploring its diverse landscapes, enjoying its beautiful beaches, or immersing yourself in its charming villages, Texel offers something for everyone. So, pack your bags, hop on that ferry, and get ready to experience the magic of Texel. Chapter 4, Castile de Har, Living the Fairy Tale in a Grand Dutch Castle. Located near Utrecht, this magnificent castle is the largest in the Netherlands. With its soaring towers, ornate facades, and sprawling gardens, Castile de Har is a feast for the eyes. Take a guided tour to learn about the castle's fascinating history and marvel at the opulent interiors. The real magic of Castile de Har lies in its gardens, designed by the renowned landscape architect Hendrik Kopien. Take a stroll through the rose garden or simply find a quiet bench and soak in the tranquility. Castile de Har is a popular destination for weddings and special events. Even if you're not planning a fairy tale wedding, Castile de Har is well worth a visit. Chapter 5. Maastricht where history meets charm in the heart of the Netherlands. Now we journey to the southern tip of the Netherlands to a city that's bursting with history and charm. Maastricht is a place where every corner tells a story and every street has a tale to share. Maastricht, nestled on the banks of the Meuse River, is one of the oldest cities in the Netherlands. Its strategic location has made it a cultural and historical crossroads for centuries. As you wander through Maastricht's cobblestone streets, you'll be transported back in time. The city's layout and architecture reflect its rich past, from Roman times to the present day. 
Roman ruins stand side by side with medieval churches, and grand old mansions overlook bustling squares. Each building has its own unique story, contributing to the city's diverse architectural landscape. Start your exploration at the Vreithof, the heart of Maastricht, and home to some of its most impressive architecture. This square has been a central gathering place for centuries, hosting everything from markets to festivals. History buffs won't want to miss the Casemates, a network of underground tunnels that once served as a vital part of the city's defenses. These tunnels offer a glimpse into the strategic military history of Maastricht. Take a guided tour to learn about the tunnel's fascinating history. You'll hear stories of how they were used during sieges and wars, and see the engineering marvels that made them so effective. For a truly unique experience, visit the Bocondal Dominicanin, a bookstore housed in a former Dominican church. This stunning location combines the serenity of a sacred space with the intellectual stimulation of a bookstore. Browse the shelves beneath soaring vaulted ceilings and stained glass windows. The atmosphere here is unlike any other bookstore, making it a must-visit for book lovers and history enthusiasts alike. After exploring the historical sites, take a moment to relax in one of Maastricht's many charming cafes. Enjoy a cup of coffee or sample some local cuisine and soak in the vibrant street life. Maastricht is also known for its lively festivals and cultural events. Whether it's a music festival, a food fair, or a traditional celebration, there's always something happening in this dynamic city. As evening falls, the city takes on a magical glow. The illuminated buildings and serene river views create a picturesque setting for an evening stroll. Maastricht truly is a city where history meets charm at every turn. Chapter 6. Hoge Veluwe National Park Art, Nature and Free Bikes Let's shift gears now and head into the heart of the Netherlands to Hoge Veluwe National Park. Here you can trade the city streets for sandy heathlands, dense forests and shimmering lakes. Free white bikes are available throughout the park, making it easy to pedal your way through the diverse landscapes. As you cycle along the well-maintained paths, keep an eye out for the park's resident wildlife. For a truly memorable experience, visit the Kroller Müller Museum, located within the park. This world-renowned museum boasts an impressive collection of 19th and 20th century art. Whether you're an art enthusiast, a nature lover, or simply looking for a peaceful escape, Hoge Veluwe National Park has something to offer everyone. Chapter 7, Marken, a step back in time on a charming island village. Our next adventure takes us to another charming island, this time in the Markermere Lake. Marken is like a postcard come to life with its colorful wooden houses perched on stilts and its picturesque harbor. As you step off the ferry from Volendam, you'll feel like you've entered a different world. Take a stroll along the harbor front and admire the traditional wooden houses. Be sure to visit the Marker Museum to learn about the island's rich history and culture. For a truly authentic taste of Marken, stop by one of the local smokehouses and try some freshly smoked eel. Marken is a place that will stay with you long after you've left. Chapter 8. Utrecht, canals with a twist and a city full of surprises. While Amsterdam often steals the spotlight when it comes to canals, Utrecht offers a unique twist on this iconic Dutch feature. Unlike the bustling canals of Amsterdam, Utrecht's waterways provide a more intimate and tranquil experience. The canals here are not just for transportation, they are a way of life. Here, the canals are lined with charming wharves, many of which have been transformed into cozy cafes, restaurants, and shops. These wharves, known as Werfkelders, were originally used for storage and trade, but today, they serve as delightful spots for socializing and dining. Imagine sipping your morning coffee at a table right on the water's edge. The gentle lapping of the water and the serene atmosphere make it a perfect start to your day. It's a unique experience that you won't find anywhere else. But Utrecht is much more than just its canals. The city is a treasure trove of history, culture, and modern vibrancy. Its streets are filled with a mix of medieval architecture and contemporary design, creating a unique blend that is both charming and dynamic. Climb the Dom Tower, the tallest church tower in the Netherlands, for breathtaking panoramic views of the city. Standing at 112 meters, the tower offers a vantage point like no other, where you can see the entire cityscape and beyond. Explore the Museum Katharina Convent, which houses a fascinating collection of religious art and artifacts. The museum provides a deep dive into the rich religious history of the Netherlands, showcasing everything from medieval manuscripts to contemporary religious art. One of the things that makes Utrecht so special is its youthful energy. The city is home to a large student population, which infuses it with a lively and dynamic atmosphere. The streets are always bustling with activity from street performances to vibrant markets. 
Whether you're exploring its historic canals or discovering its hidden courtyards, Utrecht is a city that will surprise and delight you. Each corner of the city holds a new discovery, from quaint little shops to hidden gardens. It's a place where history and modernity coexist in perfect harmony, offering something for everyone. Chapter 9. Kinderdijk, where time stands still in a windmill wonderland. Get your cameras ready because our next stop is one of the most iconic and photogenic destinations in the Netherlands. Kinderdijk, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is home to a stunning collection of 19 historic windmills. These majestic windmills, dating back to the 18th century, were built to drain the Alblasser Ward polder. As you walk or cycle along the network of dikes and canals, you'll be treated to breathtaking views of the windmills. Be sure to visit the Visitor Center to learn about the history of the windmills. For a truly magical experience, visit Kinderdijk at sunrise or sunset. Chapter 10. De Biesbosch National Park. A secret world of waterways and wildlife. Our final hidden gem takes us to a place where nature reigns supreme. De Biesbosch National Park, a sprawling network of rivers, creeks, and islands, is a haven for wildlife. Hop in a kayak or canoe and paddle your way through the maze of waterways. The park is home to a wide variety of bird life, including herons, kingfishers, and even the elusive osprey. Keep your eyes peeled for beavers, which were reintroduced to the park in the 1980s. De Biesbosch is a place to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life and reconnect with the natural world. Outro discover your own Dutch adventure. So, there you have it. 10 hidden gems in the Netherlands that are just waiting to be discovered. From tranquil villages to historic castles, from stunning natural beauty to vibrant cities, the Netherlands has something to offer everyone. Which of these hidden gems has captured your imagination? Let me know in the comments below. Remember the best way to experience a new place is to get off the beaten path and discover its hidden treasures.